So you take the MTS files from your trusty old video camcorder and try to place them on a timeline in a video editor, Magix Sony Vegas in this case, in Windows 11. However, nothing happens. You cannot drag them to the timeline, and if you try to import them as media, Sony Vegas crashes. However, you remember that you definitely could edit those files in Sony Vegas or any other video editing tool in Microsoft Windows. Well, MTS is a transport protocol, which is basically a container for AVCHD, and AVCHD is H.264 video plus AC3 Dolby Digital sound. And the problem is, Microsoft has dropped support for AC3 codec, and apparently the software that relies on Microsoft codecs, for example, Sony Vegas, fails to play those files. However, other software which uses built-in codecs, such as VLC Player, for example, runs those files just fine. However, there is a fix. I am doing this in Windows 11, exactly the same version, when the AC3 support was dropped. One solution is to recode the files, stripping the audio track, or converting the audio track from AC3 to AAC codec, for example, using any video converter tool you prefer. However, this is a time-consuming process, and most probably you will lose some quality, or you will have a dramatic increase in the file size. Let alone that if you already have those MTS files in some project, you will have to be creative about file names, so you won't have to replace them in the project, one by one. So what you need to do is to download a free open source utility from GitHub. The name of the utility is Nwave. So download the latest version, which comes in a zip archive, extract the executable file from that archive, run the executable, press install, and wait for the software to install. You don't need to enable any extra services or download any drivers for your video card. What you need to do is to click on Tools, and some of the tutorials that you may find online will tell you to go to Windows Keypoint from Tools. Apparently, the settings that we are looking for were in this Keypoint settings in the previous versions of the same software. However, in the new version, there is a standalone installer, so what you need to do is to click on Tools, and then click on Microsoft Dolby Digital Atmos Pack, which does include the AC3 codec that we need to play those files. In the next window, just click Install, wait for the Microsoft Dolby Digital Pack to install, and after you do that, you may close the software, close your video editor if it was open, run it again, and try dragging the files on the timeline again. And this time, it works, and we didn't even have to reboot Windows to do that. I'll leave a link to my website in the description to this video, where you will be able to find the download links for the software mentioned. I'm the god of YouTube! Like, subscribe, jingle bells!